Hi, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing. I'd like to show you how to set up lead management rules within your command so that when you have a contact added to your command database, you can have tags automatically added to them, and you can even have them automatically started on a smart plan as well. To find these settings and to create these rules, you would first go to your name in the top right and choose settings. You'd come to command settings on the left, contacts, and then lead management. Now I'm showing you how to set these up for a solo agent. If you are on a team, you would need to check with your Rainmaker before creating these. Um, and also your team permissions may prevent you from being able to create these. So you'd wanna check with your Rainmaker first. As a solo agent, this is where you would come to create these lead management rules. And over on the right, you would create rule. Enter the name of the rule. For today's example, we'll say we have a home valuation page on our website. And so I want to be able to tag those leads specifically and have them start on a specific smart plan. So I'm going to name my rule home valuation leads and the lead source is what dictates which lead management rule is activated so when that lead comes into your command database whatever the source of that lead is will determine which lead management rule activates so you will want to pick which lead source you want this rule to apply to for our case, we want it to be the home valuation page on our site. So we will come to the lead source field and we can begin typing it in or you can just scroll down if you'd like. And right here is home valuation on our site. So we'll click that and then choose the tags that we want to automatically be applied. You can choose one or the other. You don't have to choose both tags and smart plan, but for our example today, I'll show you both. For auto tags, let's say I want them to be tagged with lead. And so you would cho choose your tag from the list and any other tags that you would like added. So you can choose multiple. And then assign from the smart plans you do want to make sure that smart plan has been added to your my smart plans tab in command in order for it to appear in this drop down so these are the smart plans that we've already either downloaded from the library or created ourselves and you can type in the name if you know which one you're looking for or just choose it from the drop down menu and you can choose multiple once you're done Go ahead and click create rule and it will create that rule for you here. You can always come back and click the pencil to edit it and also the trash can if you want to delete it. One more time I want to show you if you create the rule there is the option to select all lead sources. This means when a lead or a contact is added to your command database no matter what the source is if you have that toggled on for all sources, this particular rule would apply to all contacts added to your command database. So you do have that as an option if you want to. Something to watch out with your lead management rules is if you create two different rules that may apply to the same lead source. It won't add the contact to the same smart plan twice and it won't duplicate the tag on the contact twice but you may run into an issue where that contact is added to two separate smart plans and so you'll just want to keep an eye out for that if you have the same lead source listed on two or more lead management rules if you have any question about this at all, please let us know. Our email is support at scottleroymarketing.com and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.